January meeting minutes. Yes. Yes. Anybody have any comments? Any questions or concerns? Nope. Give a motion to accept. We'll present a motion to accept the January meetings. Nice. Oh. All right. Oh, well, John seconded. All in favor? Aye. All right. Friends. Okay. So oh, friends are moving ahead to spring. Um, some of we just met. Last week of January, I want to say it was the 28th, but um, but in any case, we are on revitalizing the seed library, replenishing, weeding out old seeds and that kind of thing, making contacts for, for seeds. Um, so that's up and running or at least in, in process. Um, we are looking forward to the book sale and starting to think about accepting donations and things like that. Two months. Two, two months. Yeah. Two months of gathering. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, right. Community donations okay. and that kind of thing. Um, and then classes planned in yoga class, fitness classes, and I believe some kind of assortment of the arts, which haven't been fleshed out at this point. Um, and then finally, there's a few collaborations in the works as well. They're um, been approached by a Cub Scout troop to possibly do some, you know, some kind of programming or some kind of activity, possibly fundraiser or something. So it's not exceptionally well defined, but it was interesting. We're following up on that as well. Um, in addition to possibly a T-shirt design contest with the kids in that club. So cool. So we have a few, yeah, a few little, little things. That's in permanent now. So next month, maybe we can report. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Right on to the director's report. Um, okay. um, um, Where do I begin? No, I'm kidding. Um, so staff met uh, this week. Yes, this week at seven. Um, we started to go over the strategic plan path, but we're going to go over those a little bit more next time in terms of programs. Um, we may have an idea for a homebound service. We'll see if that flies at all, um, which could be really good. Um, seen done elsewhere. It involves actually bringing books to homebound folks and Monica's interested. So when Monica's interested. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> yes. So um it it's actually a great, in, fantastic yeah, idea. Something mm -hmm. in the works. We'll see where it goes. Um and then uh what what um like are there requirements for that person being homebound or just because that person doesn't feel like you know what I mean? Like, oh. or just the random person, like, could I call up? Be like, hey, I don't feel like coming out today. We bring me my to, books. Yeah, whatever. Probably <laughs> we, we connect. With, we connect with the senior center so, okay. and see those individuals who are considered shut-ins. Okay. Which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, right? Exactly. What yeah. you don't want to have happen. It's not so a delivery you know, service. It's a I'll just the right. wrong one delivery. Right. Right. And it wouldn't be the idea. So I would want to do it for those who certainly. For the for for those who the need is yeah. real. Yeah. Um let's see. February calendar set. Uh I'm actually working on April and May shifts now because we have um uh, a couple of people out. Um there's some overlap when they're out. So uh, we'll be looking into those shifts in the next couple of weeks so we can make sure that they're covered. Um and start staff evaluations probably in March. Um, let me think. Oh, I did send to you both the situation with Tara's position. I don't know if you want to go into that later or if you wanted to. Yeah, I'd say later. Okay. Yeah. Um, because some of this was news to me. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought that that was resolved. Okay. Um, Okay, so facilities, carriage house. Uh, I know that you have it on here. 
Uh, so I can you know, wait on that, or I can just go over it. I actually was, I actually sat not sat in, but I um, zoomed into the meeting yesterday, just because I wanted to get a sense of where things were at. And it sounds to me like, and it, it'll, it will happen at some point, but the first thing that has to happen is they have to look at whether or not there is an asbestos issue. And that means floor tiles, um, roof tiles, uh, probably around the window treatments, I think, I think he said, some yeah, lower yeah, window yeah. treatments. So it sounded to me like they were going to have to look at getting somebody in to do an inspection, some testing. some testing, and the the total cost was under a thousand, like six hundred or something. I mean, that, yeah, they thought the testing that would be under a thousand. But yeah. Once that's resolved, well, once that's resolved, we'll know what they can do next. Because one of the issues is, if there is asbestos, then it's not something as simple as the highway department taking up. Right. If there isn't any major concern, the highway department can do so. Maybe if there is asbestos, it would be a situation where how we could do a certain number of things, but maybe not other things that would have to maybe be contracted out. That's where things are at. Everybody knows that it's just supposed to come down to the um, foundation. Yeah. Um, I don't think there would do you recall anything else? Yeah, that was the big one is the asbestos. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, yeah the, the the question had been whether we would authorize the highway department to take down. Said, "Well, we can't really do that until we right. know if exactly. that idea." Not that so, jump in like that. Yeah. So, did the conversation include lead paint or just asbestos? Just, just asbestos. Yeah. So, just asbestos, as far as I know. Yeah. And that's and um, uh, the building inspector was on the call, so I would have assumed he would have said something about lead. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I guess. You know, I mean, Janice yeah. brought up the, the water issue right. around there. So right. certainly, well, think that, yeah, the yeah. well had is near there. Right. So. right, right. So, yeah, that was the major portion of that. So, so that's what I got out of it for the moment. Um, I think I mentioned we had all uh, gained, gained you know, that, uh, we had attended the uh, historic commission meeting, and um, I know that. The idea was Mike Morelli was going to take some photos for some yeah, sort of 3D record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case they were going to like yeah. re re use that design yeah, at some it, point. Like not necessarily point. there, but use yeah. that design to yeah. reconstruct like a reconstruction yeah. of a historic yeah. 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 1935. Right. <laughs> so it's a, when was it called? Like in the, uh, was it the 30s or 20s? Yeah. So, so it is a possibility. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. But so, I think, I, I don't know. I know, I mean, asbestos is the real threat for the demolition. Right. But paint. Hey, it's not as big a threat. I, yeah, I just, yeah. It could be. Right. And I think care, care right. would be to be taken to remove yeah. all of it. Right. But, like, yeah, I mean, it's certainly. But as far as the people right. involved in doing the demolition, the asbestos is yeah. more. Yeah, right. I mean, I think, right. I, yeah, definitely. That's that's the case. Okay, understood. It basically decides whether or not we let the highway department do it, or or, or we hire someone else. Yeah, the town has to pay. Like, sounds like it can be really expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, if it's to be taken down by a contractor, it's like ten to twenty thousand dollars. Well, with, for the was an asbestos. Oh, I'm sorry, the asbestos. It's worth. It's worth. Right. It's worth it's another. Yeah. 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 Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So fingers crossed. Right. Yeah, 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 we'll see. Um, and we'll pray to whoever you pray to. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so many comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <just> sorry. <laughs> okay. It's all right. So um, Kathy Schofield asked about certain things like the carriage out of doors and some other things. And she was looking at me and I, I'm like, that's not really my... Yeah, opinion. I don't know why she kept looking at, at I, you. I, 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 mean, I think she was hoping that maybe that she could ask me and then I would tell them or something. But to be honest, at this point, it's, but it's really regardless, the it's the town, it's a town yeah. building anyway. It's yeah. not us to decide whether or not she can keep right. the doors. Right. And yeah. and right. you, know, you have to find out whether there's asbestos in this door. Right. Right. Or lead. Or lead. Right. Right. And there yeah. works. They're yeah, all, really works. We all kept saying that. And even Mike like Morelli kept saying that. Yeah. And, and um, there was a reason we had to board it up. We can't get those shots. So I don't know how you need them. I guess you could extract them somehow, but anyway. 
Um, along the same lines, kind of along the same lines on buildings we do not currently use. <laughs> in any fashion. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that because we're storing things in the record. But um, so I actually, there's been some movement on the roofing issue, which is good. Um, I heard back from Superior. They said, oh, well, all right, if you're just talking about the chimney, you'd really want to just talk to all the guy from All in One Chimney that he gave me the number for. So I did contact him. Uh, all in One Chimney contacted me back said he needed to check whether or not he would be able to do it because it's a commercial property and he's not licensed for commercial and it's municipal, and it's municipal. right yes yeah. i don't know how the license but yeah but the better thing is that i heard back from copeland and copeland gave me a quote and it is more reasonable and it is money good Six hundred dollars is what we which is what we were expecting right in that ballpark originally. So that is that's easy. Yeah, I mean, uh, so if nobody has any objections, six. Oh, uh, I love here it is. So yeah, he said uh, roof repairs, remove existing asphalt shingles around center chimney, install new asphalt roof shingles around chimney with existing lead flashing, seal flash lead to chimney. He said he would then also do any touch-ups, fixes on the chimney itself if there was any issues on the chimney, that that would be included in the six hundred. So. Uh, I'm just going to reach out to him soon. I'm not going to be able to do it probably until he back, but that's next week. So, uh, and because of that dollar amount, we don't even need to, there isn't a I, lot of approval needed. Right? Yeah. So, basically, what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll, I'm going to um, call David because he initially said that the town would pay for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 600 is not a big deal. I'll ask him what he wants to do in this case. But it doesn't hurt to, if he yeah. wants to pay. If the town wants to, right. so he actually said it's as you know, if it's under yeah, thousand dollars. He was saying like if it was over five thousand, you know, let me know. But otherwise, just submit the paperwork. So I mean, I'll see him again soon anyway. So, um, very reasonable. Like it. Yeah. And the guy knows what he's doing. So. Thanks. Yes. You said that's Copeland. Copeland, yeah. Copeland. Yeah, and uh, I think the one day he actually got up on the roof and took a look um, on the Saturday following the Friday because it was raining that day. And it was but, but in any case, um, I hadn't heard back from him and I pinged him. That's good. Good thing. Um, let's see. And Superior, I probably just let twist unless somebody wants me to bring all in one chimney in. Nope, nope. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Still working on the <laughs> still working on the LED track light issue. My friend used to work for Light Earlier. Um, I have to get uh, ping him back just to see if he has found anything. Maybe an old track light or something that he, he said that he could find that would be similar mm -hmm. in work that wasn't a yellow mm -hmm. cast but a white cast. Um, budget. So let's see. Uh, 17466 spent from the budget in January, uh, in close to 11000 on salaries, and about 6500 in operations. So after seven months, a little over 50% of the budget has been spent, we should be at about 58%. So a um, couple things, factors that will probably short things up a little bit. We actually just had a um, our bill for a national grid topped out of over 2000 for the month. We're in that set of four or five months where we get higher though. So that is going to factor in. Um, we've been doing some ordering with World Book and we've got a couple of other orders going in that are going to be a little bit higher numbers. So I suspect that our operations expenditures for this next month are going to be higher than what you see here. Um, and then uh, obviously we're still running a little behind on salaries because we're at 51.2% there as well. Um, we'll see how that lays out. 
see. Oh, um, so then I met with uh, David and Jody about the FY25 budget on February 1st. Um, we went through, oh, at that time, so who knows, I did ask David again about the issue over here. Oh, the dry wipes. Whether yep. the dry issue. He said he hadn't heard anything. So once again, nothing. I don't know where that's at. I don't yeah, know if you can no, think, think, um, Yeah, I mean, I've only heard that the, the building inspector has not yet written the letter. So, oh. Or I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. I, that means, yeah, okay. yeah well, I, I mean, I can certainly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll, once again, like next week, I'll reach out to him. Like once I, when I talk to him about the roof situation, I'll ask him about that. We can see where we're at. But the only thing I can do is just keep bugging. Yeah. So <laughs> is the, the asphalt is, it's just it's the, the driveway. Right? Well, it's right? On town right, right, right. No, but I mean, it's, yeah. it's in the, so somebody mentioned something like thinking there was also some behind the carriage house. And I think that is not true. Yeah. No. So yeah, I think maybe they were confusing. So like the, the, there right. used to be items behind the right, right. Yeah, yeah, I think that that was that was yeah my impression. So it's as we really just that, that means it's right. Thing. The, the okay. location of it is next to the right way, which is not where it should be at all. Right. Connected. It is it's it's currently attached to the driveway. Right. Right. It's yeah, it's physically attached. Yeah. Like it makes right. it look like it's one right. piece. Yeah, yeah. And this is our driveway. It's his driveway. Yeah, it's a pull around. Right. Oh, just what saying. We should. I still think I should put up the barricades. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, it's John. fine. No, it's fine. I, um, I'll just keep. Yeah, I would just comment. email. I guess John Erickson is that. Yeah, I mean, just I email him and just ask well. if you know what I you know. know. I was maybe just copy this through the channels. Certainly put John on it. Well, that's who has to write the letter, correct? Yeah. That that that's was my understand. impression. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I can also like ask him. Yeah, I've never. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll. I know. Like my has like talked right. to him, but like I, you know, I don't know. Like there's multiple. Yeah, I mean, I, don't worry because I think I said next time I reach out to Dave right. next week. Right, and, and I'm sure it's not their high priority. It probably items. isn't. I get that. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's the longer it goes, right? Right, it needs to be addressed. Yeah, and that's the issue is the town is not acting Correct. on it. So, no. I mean, I don't feel like we're sort of like getting into the territory of like squatters' rights. It's not that long, but yeah. I think that the town should have a response yeah. that I guess it's what I have the impression it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I, I, I have the impression also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so in my meeting with uh, David and Jody, we just kind of right-sized certain budget lines. Um, certain things were in contracted services, and they had always been in contracted services because it's always based off of like what we were used to write it down. But <clears throat> the understanding was that there's plenty of things that are in contracted services that should just be moved to building maintenance. So um, what did I say? 17,000 was moved from contracted services to building maintenance. Uh, 1,000 from contracted services, telephone line, um, and the only other thing that happened was I added $300 to the um, uh, meetings and dues line. It didn't change the percentage for the books number, so we're getting 19%. Um, some minor changes and otherwise, like I said, shuffling. Shuffling of certain companies into Building it, yeah, maintenance as opposed to contract. Overall, the numbers and what you had requested were received okay, at least at that level. Yeah, at that level. Huh. I don't know about it. Right, well, yeah, forward, but, but at least there. Right. They understand, I mean, they understand where we went with the children's position, mm -hmm. the situation, and the ask for additional staff hours for, I, this is certainly not, it's got to be at least the last time that's been the case it might have been different in terms of the hours yeah and they didn't they weren't they didn't question it or they didn't have any issues with it we'll see going forward um let's see program so so that budget oh, yeah, sorry. The, sorry the fy25 budget then includes that potential extra hours yes okay yeah it includes the the extra hours for staff and the children's hours 
as an ask that the town would provide. Instead of us. Right. Right. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Any questions about? But I'll come back to that because I'm going to look at the work at the very end. Any questions? Uh, attendance uh, kind of through the roof right now. I, I was yeah. Yeah. Um, so That's this right. week we had on uh, Wednesday in particular, she had a. Um, uh, coffee conversations with parents and kids, and then the puppet show, and then literally there were over 60 people. Wow. Were kids yes. all over the place upstairs. Mm -hmm. Good thing. The only issue for us right now is when we have good response for something, there's no place to park here. Mm -hmm. So Chris is like, what are we supposed to do? And I said, um, but she and I were both like, why don't we just, I think what's going to happen for Chris and I on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we're just going to park over in the library parking lot and just free up a couple spaces. But it's really like Chris actually had to park alongside a picnic table because there was nothing left. Um, I mean, it's a good. Yeah, there's problem. no reason why you guys can't park in that driveway. Right. Or in theory, I mean, I don't think we necessarily want to do this, but you could have right. over there. Right. Well, so like, well. Yeah, like if uh, where the exit is, if you park into the grass right you could even have them pull in this way versus a parallel to you know what i mean you get yeah. more cars in this way yes you know if you yeah, really absolutely. need to in this time of year grass is frozen. you're not damaging the grass that's right fair. yeah i was thinking so, about that but you're right you really wouldn't be grounding things up so no. um, is it possible to park on the road like i mean like people have yeah, done it like, I, the only time i've ever seen it is during like um the book sale day, right. you know what I mean? They all pack on the road. When we first right. opened, like, it was, we did our, um, oh, yeah, because that was we were back yeah. yeah. with yeah. children. Oh, I know that with children, we're better off parking on the grass, right? Then you were on the street. I was just curious, yeah, I wouldn't want to park. Yeah, so with that being said, I think if that's something you guys are anticipating, yeah. is on a, something like that, you're yeah. probably going to have to have a staff member out there to kind of like. Well, so that's what we're trying to figure out. Like, what do we exactly do? I mean, should we have a sign up somewhere or, you know, I mean, all you have to do is park like, one car on that grass and yeah, everybody's going to get. So you park your car there. Right. Well, Everybody yeah. gets the idea that that's, like, that's allowed. Past the rec duty parking. Right. Yeah. yeah that yeah. whole strip, you could probably get 10 yeah. to 15 cars in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Once, yeah, you, once right. some yeah. people will follow right. soon. Yeah. One car, and that's all right. you need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. Yeah. Because, ah, you don't really have to. Designated parts otherwise. Speaking of the parking issue, um, I had uh, the town sent around um, a company that's looking at doing EV stations. Yes, reinforcements. So yeah. Yes, they did come. Um, he did stop here, looked in the back in the electrical room. You could, if, and I don't know how far down the road something like this is. He said you could run the line out to the parking that's right in the front here, yeah. next to the building. There's like three or four yep. spots, one of which is handicapped. handicapped. But I think they said that the um, one, if you had just one station that serves two vehicles, um, so I said, well, that's interesting, you know, I mean, it's, um, and the, the thing is, if somebody does part there, it's actually it can be a bit of an incentive to actually come in to the library because they need to wait for the vehicle to charge up. And how does so, that work? Does the electricity just come from here and you're paying to charge the car or are they, do they have to put a credit card or something in? I don't know. So each car, and I can speak because I've used a Tesla, you, when you own the car, you get charged the amount of power you take out. So the, there's an agreement that's built with the charging company and where the electricity is coming from that there's likely some percentage that actually comes back to whoever the supplier is to. So the, and and you should see nothing like you should have you should nothing to deal with. Yeah, right. you shouldn't. There, that, you may see it on the bill, but it may be a whole separate line item. Uh -huh. So that the meat and potatoes of that side, I'm not sure, but I know it's by car because it's it is when you plug it in, you're you're accepting that this is going to charge for X amount of time. This is how much it's going to cost. Okay. Um, what about what about charging at home? 
recognized automatically in the venture So yeah, when you when they build out that charging station, it's designed then for for your house. So that power is set up separately. Technically, even so we have the ones over by the town hall, and there's also another one on the back side that the chief of police uses. Mm -hmm. Technically, that one is the same type of design, so that it's it's charged to the individual or the owner of the vehicle that uh, that is charging. Interesting. The issue, he said there are two different types. There's one that's like a tier two, and that's what would, I guess it's called tier two, something like that, which would be the kind that would be here, which takes hours to like, Charge, sure. sure. If you wanted something that was more substantial, then you have to get a transformer. Correct. A lot of infrastructure goes in, so that's a that's a slow charge. Right. It's kind of one of those you plug it in. If you got to go do something, come back right. and maybe be halfway there. The, right. the superchargers, as right. they're called, are fast. Right. Um, but again, one, it costs more for right. the individual, mm -hmm. and two, it's you're talking a lot of infrastructure construction. Yeah, and yeah, that we don't have that currently. And the other thing that you did say is the electrical back there or two certain boards are pretty well maxed out. So I don't know whether or not it's even feasible. I mean, he said that he let us know or that some people let us know at some point. Whatever. But I mean, it's interesting to know that <laughs> pretty much what we have back there uh is in use you know is the town looking to do this like throughout the other build uh, you know, obviously it's already yeah. at the town hall but are they looking to they're is looking the town for, specifically looking know, for like more to ten sort so of the, the, the contractor or the town i thought it was the town, the right? town. okay uh, I, I don't know but i don't want to uh, speak for wasn't it, Ann, it was it was ann mazer who approached you with it right well that was a that was quite a while ago Oh, he would have done that like I don't know, three, four years ago. Yeah, I mean, I can most recently. But... Oh no, wait, no, wait. Sorry, there was yeah. All right, so there was talk. I think when they first put in the charging stations by the police station. But yeah, I do think that she did email me most recently too. So that was going to say. Yeah. I thought that was on the email she yeah. sent us. And yeah. and my and Sorry. I voiced this when you sent it to me. My concern is that yeah, that's right. We've Sorry. already got parking challenges here yeah. and if you put that in they they become almost reserved and right. they may you not physically say, be yeah. reserved but i would never park there well, in right. a car this that wouldn't right. be a charging that would be charging I said. And you so. said well yeah anybody can park there i said well yeah but most of the time people want to be courteous and yeah, right. leave it for somebody who really needs, needs it. it right yeah so but yeah you're right she is the one who eventually yeah because if someone did come to use it and somebody else is packed they're not using it yeah i myself I don't think, yeah. Anyway, I always we'll wonder when you're at the mall, but well, they always it's always the prime parking. <laughs> oh, sure. right. 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 Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, we'll see. I don't know where this is all going to go. But, <clears throat> um. Yeah, it was in programs. Oh, because yeah, the parking. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um. Yeah. So the the numbers are great. Um. You know, most of the most of the story times in that have at least you know 18 to 20 people each time, if if not many more than that. Um, all of our clubs, you know, book clubs, and um, uh, let's see, the um, uh, craft, uh, adult craft, handcrafting, all of those have like returning members every time, yes. <laughs> to me, is a really good thing. So like the handcrafting just had eight people again the other week, and that's, I think we had 10 weeks before that, and then I'm like, in any case, so we're doing a lot of returns. I have a question, yes. and this might be more for, or an idea for Lee and the friends, but um, have we ever, not since I've been here that I recall, but have we ever done anything that um, has the children of that story time age Group, like maybe a little bit, not the young, young ones, but the, you know, um, interact kind of with the seniors and maybe have like, I forget what she called it. My sister-in-law just went to one. She, my sister-in-law comes here occasionally with the kids she babysits for, but she also just went to, I think she said she was an opt-in yeah. and they had, um, I forget what she called it, but yeah. it was like, a, like the kids interacted. It was like a tea party, but they yeah. served lemonade and iced tea. Oh, and nice. It was like a cute little tea party yeah. that they were able to interact with the seniors. And it would be nice to do some sort of cross like, sort of 
cross generational. Yeah, totally, right. So, so one thing that I know that the um, cross generational, the, I think that's what you call it. The Council on Aging and the so the seniors wanted to have um, there had been a pen pal program. With oh, the right. Yeah. yeah. But the current principal doesn't want to have it unless they can have it be with the whole fourth grade, which is like 60 kids, and they just they don't have 60 oh, right. seniors who could be do that, right? That. But I wonder if they're like, oh, that's so bad. Like, that was a great program with like a smaller group because, yeah. like, they, there were a lot of like enthusiastic volunteers who were just really disappointed. Yeah. It's like a long term thing, and I feel like, like it literally <laughs> what, Rory's best friend was that like, oh, when Rory yeah. was 21 and is still. Much. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good, that's <laughs> awesome. For real. And if the library could step in and find like, like, that we might be additional, additional pen pals on this side that they would need. Right. right. So, yeah. like, get, get me. Kids, my parents would probably do that. That would be, even though they're not in town, my yeah, parents doesn't, doesn't, They don't have to be necessarily men in residence, if that's the case. They wouldn't have to. I mean, it would be better. I think it would be, like, you know, like the majority of them could be. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I know, yeah, there were so many like seniors who were just really disappointed because at getting this like hard no from the principal. Because like, the seniors do two letters. I mean, why couldn't they have two pen pals? Well, no, they talked about that. It's apparently a lot of work, like okay. on on their end, and so they they also like it being very like individual. That like the in okay. one senior and one child. Yeah, correspond. That was like, one, one of my months. favorite memories of. And of, then, and Ethan's, Ethan's little pancake, uh, whatever yeah. breakfast they did for the seniors, and they but, got to actually meet them. Yeah, yeah they have the big reveal because they use yeah. pen names. So yeah. nobody knows who yeah. the other and, one yeah, is. Yeah, apparently, it's like, you know, apparently it's just like a lot of, you know, it's a lot of work for the volunteers, like organizing it. But, like, I mean, they want to do it. It's just that they knew that, like, getting 60 right. seniors right. is like, I mean, because it's like any group, like there's a whole bunch of, but they, they have a, a core group of very mm -hmm. active volunteers, you know, the ones that you run into multiple things. I think mm -hmm. that's what they're uh, yeah. 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 all familiar with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It is, but I mean, like they were easily doing, they could easily do probably 30 or 40. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, like, I mean, it's, it seems like it, it would be so nice to have like, yeah. that. that That's a great idea. And then you could have that little party at the end, like a little yeah. breakfast, tea party, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Question. Yeah. Do you know when the conversation happened with Principal Turner to us? Uh, very recently. It happened over... I guess multiple times. So, but most recently, like I want to say, within the last two weeks. Okay. Thank so you. yeah, um, and and her, you know, her position is just that she doesn't want to have any class sort of get an opportunity that the other classes don't. Which so like it's a, it's a fairness thing, which mm -hmm. I appreciate. Yeah, um, it does make sense. But like historically, it had been like rotating through classes, so it was like. Never a whole grade who would get it. It was kind of like luck of the draw. Like, like my son got to do it when he was in fourth grade, but my daughter didn't do it when she was in fourth. Grade. Yeah, I don't think Emma did it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So just yeah, and, and it was it was a neat thing. Yeah, but like yeah, and you know, like potentially not every kid is equally excited about it. So like if you could do like a sign up thing yeah. through the library and the yeah. senior center, you could get the ones that are like Yeah. I mean, and you could even have the program here where the kids come here to write the letters. Mm. Yeah, but you know, you and you could decorate cards. Right, right, right. Like instead of that. doing it, yes. it was like, like a monthly, like I mean if Tara oh, or a club or whatever. Here. Yeah, I think I yeah. love the idea of cross generation. Um, my only concern would be we don't necessarily have that captive audience that the schools do, like you know, right. you understand? Right. Like, they have to actually get them to be to come in mm -hmm. and do and sign up for it. Right. Correct. I'm not saying that it wouldn't happen. I just mm -hmm. you know, right. You know, 
Yeah. You can get like, I don't know, 12 kids to. Well, yeah, I mean, how, you know, how, was it like 20 to 30 seniors I mean, was, that we're looking to? Or? So, I mean, historically, it was like one fourth grade class, which was often like sort of in the 25. Uh, yeah. Um, and then, like, how many seniors do you do it? I don't know. I mean, like, the, the person who was pushing for it, like, she thought that she could find it, but she hadn't done it before. Whereas, like, the people who actually organize it in past years are like, no, it's going to be your whole life. <laughs> I think I think we won't win there. <laughs> yeah. I never, oh, it won't be that small. <laughs> yeah, I remember Ethan's person was in the hospital the day of the breakfast. So one of Mr. Clinkman, um, who I just met through the library from their donation for us. Um, was Ethan's friend's person. So he was like, you sit with us. And you know, like he was like so nice. And then they arranged after the fact when the woman got out of the hospital for him to for her to meet Ethan. And they had like a the principal or somebody, some I don't know the principal. Somebody had like a little breakfast for them at the in like another room at the school. They just had little breakfast together. It was cute. <laughs> So like that might be a nice problem. So, yeah. Just I, initially, my idea was with the younger, yeah, even oh, younger yeah, kids, yeah, but I yeah. think that's that is a fantastic idea too. But it, with the younger, um, not toddlers, but like preschool age yeah. story time group, oh, that right. you know yeah. maybe it's like a little like tea party kind of. Oh, I think that would be nice. Yeah. Um, I, I think it might be different in Upton where they're all now in one building, mm -hmm. and that makes mm -hmm. a nice little. Just open the door. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a different situation, but it might be something kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, yeah. Can, I can talk to them. Yeah. Um, like I said, the only my only concern would be how we capture those, the number we need in order to do it. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but I mean, you don't need a specific number, really. No. You've got 10 kids. That would be fine just as a pilot program to try it out. And, right. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, and I wonder, like, how many, like, younger yeah. siblings of, like, older siblings who got to do the program, like, yeah. 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 And That's you wouldn't have to be a specific age bracket either. Right. You could, right. I mean, maybe you'll have a high school kid or something who's interested in doing it. Right. Maybe not, but maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You don't have to just target one grade level. Right. Right, it could be you know second, third grade, right? Yeah. How often do they go back and forth? Once a month, I think it was yeah, mm -hmm. once a month. For how long was it before they actually have the um, not like the get to go? They did it during, like based on the school year, so I think kind of like mm -hmm. September or like uh -huh. spring sometimes. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Be able to get like your homeschooling family. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I'd be happy to hook you up with the specific people who were like talking about it. Like, I mean, I know it was like, yeah, if you knew the names, Amy would probably know too. Oh, yeah, always reach out to Amy. She would be able to connect you exactly yeah, yeah, people on like the council on aging, but they had they had like another volunteer who was like not on the council. And just when the answer was no, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, 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 just blame me. No, put him here for us. It's all James's fault. <laughs> um, let's see. I know. Uh, I don't know. Did, did that record fuzz? Oh, of course. No, it, it didn't. <laughs> yeah. Now it did. <laughs> yeah. I'll look at it because it's just. Just the amount of fuzz. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll take care of that part. Okay. We'll edit. Yes. Uh, no, okay. No, I'll do it with fuzz. Oh, <laughs> Um, so upcoming uh, February events listed. Uh, do you have two men in residence will be doing pre uh, presentations programs in March and in May? Uh, projects we are still weeding, uh, it's a concept, uh, and we're weeding ruthlessly, which is good. 
Uh, particularly upstairs, we're meeting ruthlessly because there are series and they might going out, we're just limiting space on the shelves. Um, let's see, I redid the shelf maintenance charts to better reflect where staff are at each desk during the week. Uh, we have that, but they would be both upstairs and down. But if you were downstairs here, most of the time, trying to get upstairs to do your shelves was never optimal. Uh, so it's better to look at where everyone is and what's reasonable to do in terms of uh, shelf reading and shelf maintenance. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, I did speak with Katie Cunningham. We had a good conversation about the website. Yeah. Um, she, I, I mentioned things like the home page is cluttered, has to look cleaner and simpler. Also said that we weren't necessarily committed to what we currently have with Bluehost and WordPress. Uh, I think she was talking about using Google. I'm not mistaken, I think. Uh, but she was going to be introducing it to her class that next week. There's a class that was going to work on it. And then Put together some mock-ups. Is GoDaddy versus Google? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not going to tell sites is like, I mean, it's yeah. pretty oh, easy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's what uh, we did for the Solarize program. Okay. Yeah. But, so, like, it's, it's, it's easy, like, but it also isn't as flexible because you're not yeah. actually doing HTML, you're doing like kind of just. Okay. So, we'll so see like, I, don't, I don't know what, yeah. yeah. Like, but I used to, you know, um, so I'll reach out back out to her in a couple of weeks. I want to give them time to actually work on stuff. Um, we'll see where that. Uh, right. Plus goes. they're every other week. Shop. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a start. Which is good. Um, made a visit to that month this week. It's <laughs> not really that. <laughs> it's a long day. It was a long day. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, I just was thinking of where I was aware of this much. Huh? By the end of the day, because they all got dismissed as soon as they counted as a full day. Oh, Bob oh. was out earlier than that because he really had a doctor's appointment. Oh, no, they didn't. They were just like, bye, Mrs. Michael, we're out. Wow. Was it? It was. It was my presentation. That, oh yeah, it was definitely on the table. No, it was the three boys in the corner who didn't want to be there and who were, who were like discussing what they were going to do for breakfast. Oh, well, I know the one had signed up, correct? Right? Two of the three hadn't signed up. So they didn't go to the yeah, office. at the time they were there, one was sleeping the whole time. So, they weren't on their phones, so yeah. they weren't running the hallways and causing trouble. So I was like. Okay. If Trust me, he's better sleeping. I have him, I have him for class. <laughs> Way better if he's just sleeping. So as soon as they told me they were coming, I was like, awesome. <laughs> so excited you guys are going to be here. Great. I never played poker against you. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, uh, any report is complete. Uh, if anybody does want to copy, you just need to. Email me and send it off. Um, let's see what else. Oh, attended the legislative breakfast. Uh, Representative Murray and Senator Fatman were both there. Um, yeah, they said the next fiscal year um, looking difficult. Um, mm. um, so a couple of things they actually brought up on this, this handout. I don't know, just little bits of information I thought were interesting. Um, this one in particular, and I knew that, that ebooks are expensive. I didn't realize how much publishers are gou uh, gouging libraries for ebooks. Uh, it says publishers often charge libraries triple what a consumer pays for the same ebook with more restrictive licenses. Networks have doubled what they spend on ebooks and yet residents may face wait times as long as six months. So we're not there yet with ebooks, which is to say we, the, the, the quantity isn't there for people to check out. But understand too that if you really want ebooks and want to bring ebooks to um, you know, readers at your library, we get them through the CW Mars region. We could actually do a program where we ourselves purchase them, and I'm thinking about doing that. Because at least what happens when we purchase those is that um, uh, our patrons get them first. 
Uh, but you still end up paying two times the price of one year, which is insane. Um, I guess it's what the market allows, but they've been talking about trying to do something about out of control evil prices for quite a while. Um, other things they mentioned. Oh, uh, yeah, book challenge. They, they were very much uh, talking about book challenges um, this past year. Uh, we didn't, we haven't had, and not in woods, we haven't had any. Um, and uh, I can only recall my time here maybe once or twice somebody mentioning something, but nothing that ever mounted to the challenge. Um, there, have been, there were 40, it says 45 book challenges in Massachusetts in 2022. Um, that's more than the past nine years combined with a total of 38 challenges. So that number is ramping up, has been ramping up in the last couple of years, which is very interesting. They talk about broadband because 20% of um, respondents say they don't have broadband at home. 21% um, who are surveys don't have a laptop or desktop at home. So all the certain, you know, equity issues with who has connectivity, who doesn't, mm -hmm. kinds of things that the library offers that people can take advantage of in a good way. Um, um, that's why we're doing what we do. Um, certainly, certain things can make it any easier, like costs or ebooks and so forth. Which, right. I mean, even that, our numbers have exploded on. Uh, checkouts for electronic materials in general. Um, let's see. Oh, I did speak with uh, Brian Murray after the legislative breakfast and asked him about uh, 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 yeah, he's really awesome. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, he said that um, the budget season coming up. Yeah, and then for which case, if you want, I'm going to do is I'm going to send out okay, very soon, like, you know, reinforcement, <laughs> a reinforcing email to say we're looking at potentially doing a feasibility study. Is there a possibility <laughs> that yeah. awesome mm -hmm. that could be done? Yeah. So, yeah. so we'll see where we can see where we but that'll be within the next week or so. I, I, I said I'm going to give a little time, but I think the budget season for the state, I don't know if anybody is, knows exactly what it's going to be. The governor came out with her budget. Next budget is yeah. House of the Year. Okay. Around in April. Yeah. 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 I feel like, and I feel like last year, the year I'm saying so much, it's very interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. That it was in March, but I want to I want to be joking now. Right. So this a couple of weeks since then. So. Um, speaking of the sign, just real quick, um, the sign that I got, we, I wanted to like at least get me painted and cleaned and so forth. Mm -hmm. And Jane, um, who was the chair of the, the uh, Lions Club, said that the Leos. Will often be projects, so she is going to connect with um, the chair, not the chair of the wheels, but like the head of the wheels group to see whether or not they'd be interested in taking on project for the furbishing sign. Because I guess they did that for the town before, <laughs> cleaning it, repainting it because it's leaking off and so forth. So, crossing my fingers, we can get that. Interesting. So, yeah. It's been nice, the wheels. We're here for the cleanup, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I do, you know, I said how you can change things. And there are other things that come up like that. Yeah. Maybe they can address it. Sure. So I think that's the report. The only thing on the budget report, I kind of I went over pretty much everything. Um, you can see, like in books, for example, we spent we spent forty eight point one percent, should be closer to fifty eight percent. So we will got in the role of authority. Um, programming, we're um, actually at seventy four percent spent through. Um, I suspect with our programming and our continued funding of programming, that may eventually cut into other lines as well. So I mean, I, I'm not concerned at the moment. Where we're at, I think we'll be, we'll be all right. Um, 
at least we're not we're not overspending, <laughs> but we just need to um, be at a certain stage. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but there are some things coming up that I think will offset this. So, anybody have any questions about the director's report or the budget report? Nope. No. All right. I have okay. policies. Okay, so um, the library policy. So I think we, I think we started looking at the internet policy back in May. Mm -hmm. I looked back at my director's report, but we didn't. I don't think anything came of it. I think it may have been because we met in May or in June. Excuse me. I think we talked about it in June, and then there was the summer. And so I don't think that we didn't go any further than where we had gone. Yeah. So the only the, the issue for, for me is that the, the first paragraph talks about um, uh, the library does not control and does not monitor any information access to the internet for either accuracy or content and does not selectively choose ID filter which electronic resources to make available and that's actually not true at this point because due to certain issues that we had we wanted to make sure that we were a little more buttoned up. Mm -hmm. And by that token, World Band, when they put in, um, what is the program? I mentioned that everybody didn't even know. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I know you, you said it in the email. For yeah. client? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the client. That they're the, that software that was installed in all town computers, and so it's not any different from the, what any other department has, um, but it does filter for pornography, some other um, questionable mm -hmm. content. results in content. Yeah. So, I mean, initially I thought, well, this is not a big deal because I had seen Boston Public and a couple of others who talked about that uh, talked about um, yeah, so the Boston Public Library complies with the Federal Children's Internet Protection Act, CIPA, which requires the use of filtering software for adults, teens, and children. Also, find the laws over the age of 17 may when available choose to use unfiltered computers for internet access. The reason they actually incorporated filtering software at the Boston Public Library uh, to comply with the Children's Internet Protection Act, my guess is, is to be, uh, to be uh, eligible for funding, certain types of funding through the federal government. Um, and to do that, you need to be CIPA. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not exactly what what we've done necessarily. So the wording there, I mean, that, that's not going to work for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So the um, another one I did see and it was just online looking at different libraries um, was from a St. Paul library. The, there are CIP requirements that you have to follow. I printed them out. It's giving me all these. Yeah, here you go. Um, so, St. Paul has. Uh, a um, page says computer and internet use policy. Public access to the internet is available at all library locations by library computers and wireless Wi-Fi access. Filtering software is used to block pornographic sites and sites that pose a security risk to the library network. So something like that could go in. Mm -hmm. There's no mention of CIPA or anything like that. Um, it says then, as provided by law, library patrons ages 17 and older and they request that the content filter be disabled on library computer. It's something that we can actually currently do if we want to. It would take a little, say somebody came in and said, I want to have unfiltered access. We probably have to say to them, 
Sure, we could do that. I have to get back in touch with World Band because I believe they control it on their end. And we'd have to have a scheduled time for that. And have them then, yes, exactly. They'd have to come out at a different time. Obviously, they just need to say like immediately, right? Right. right. Yeah, so it's nebulous. Right, right. They right. wanted it and could wait a month or whatever. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, so it says, it, well, in here they say, in response to such a request, library staff will temporarily disable filtering, filtering software without soliciting an explanation or justification, justification other than what is required to verify the age of the requester. This gets in the weeds of it. But it's we even, the software works. It is, you can avoid lots of software. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I think, you know, um, I don't know. I haven't tested my system necessarily. Do we, do, we, do we have to provide them? But do we have to provide them with the opportunity to go around our filtering system, or can we just say this is a public library and it's filtered for that stuff? Sorry. You can, you can install you can install a VPN on your on your laptop yeah. with with a separate DNS server, and mm -hmm. you can avoid any filtering software. Right. No one's going to be able to catch it. So you could have right. Or on movies, playing on the front wall. Well, so you know, that's why our policy talks about Wi Fi in the. So it says, however, using computers or using one's own device connected to libraries Wi Fi for illegal purposes is strictly prohibited. This includes but is not limited to using the internet in violation of Massachusetts General Law 272, Section 31, the harmful to minor statute, or for the transmission of threatening, harassing, defamatory, or obscene materials. Children shall not access material harmful to minors. Accessing blatantly of visual, uh, offensive visual or text based materials constitutes potential sources of sexual harassment, harassment to other patrons, and the library staff will not be tolerated. Fail, failure to comply with the request from a library staff member to abide by these rules will result in suspension from the library and or criminal sanctions. Viewing child pornography or attempting to use such explicit images to entice a child will be reported immediately to the police. Patrons are encouraged to assist in maintaining a child safe library by beginning problem, by bringing problems, excuse me, beginning problems, bringing problems to the attention of the library director or staff. So it covers us by, yeah. you know, right. saying something about an individual who brings in their own laptop. I mean, honestly, coming to the library to do that is insane. Right. You'd be so proud. <laughs> no, but that's but that it is. That shows right. an intentional yes. That's a willful yeah. breaking of the law. Yeah. That. So yeah. premeditated or yeah, whatever. It's you want to call right. It. It's out of control. I mean, I, this yeah. is not here. But, I mean, sure, it sure, yeah. sure it happens. Sure happens. Yeah. You bring your own. You're like, well, it's mine. Watch whatever you want. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. <laughs> so I think adding that original statement about the fact that we do have filtration yeah. software on here is probably enough to cover the fact that we do it right. and leave the rest of the wording in here and not say, we may not even need to say anything about how we can turn it off if you want. Yeah. I would leave that out. Don't, 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 okay. yeah, don't open fine. Pandora's box no if you don't need to. Right. Um, um, we can always call back to the town's technology policy or bylaws on however a town facility uses their computer system. Therefore, there's a filtration requirement. So yeah. the, whatever the verbiage that is the town uses, and we can easily, if someone argues what we're doing, we're like, well, technically, you can also here. bounce them. You can, you yeah, can just absolutely. permanently bounce them right. if you see something. Well, so is that something you'd reach out to the world band to do though, correct? Yeah, you could do it right from you could do the world band. Yeah, whoever our tech person is in the town can okay. you just go back. You're so assuming you're no just, yeah, exactly. World band is world band is the <laughs> they are the tech thing. I was just saying but they, yeah. So yeah. I'm concurrent. So I'll put it that way. It is. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> well, this call gone. But yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just read what it would what it would sound like um, just from the top here and adding this in. The internet is a global and unregulated. Uh, hold on, the internet is a global and unregulated information network where the individual user is the ultimate judge of the value of the accessed information. Top Public Library and its role as a community information resource provides public access to the internet. Um, I guess you could probably. Uh, all right, let me see in there. Price free public access to the internet. Um, 
Okay. Provide free public access to the internet via library computers and wireless access. Okay. Filtering software is used to block pornographic sites and sites that pose a security risk to the libraries. Uh, and then I guess just move on to the next paragraph. There may be occasions when information in the country is access. Some sites may contain written material that is considered by some to be defamatory, offensive, or even illegal. Do we want to keep the statement though in the case of minors? The responsibility. Well, that's, yeah, that I think we question. still want, we want that in there. That? I, I would leave that right at the, right at the end. end. Yep. Okay, I would so. still leave that in there because we still want the responsibility okay. to lie on somebody other than us. Uh, right. You, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, gotcha. All right. So let me ask this one. Um, the internet is a global and unregulated information network where the individual user is the ultimate judge of the value of the access information. The PATH Public Library, in its role as a community information resource, provides pre free public access to the internet via li library computers and wireless Wi Fi access. <laughs> We're not that old. Come on now. <laughs> it's hard not to do that. I, know. I always do it, even though I'm I know we're not supposed to. I still do it. Right. So let's see. By library computers and wireless Wi-Fi access. Filtering software is used to block pornographic sites and sites that pose security risk to the library's network. In the case of minors, responsibility rests with the parents or the new guardian. Yes. That's correct. That's yeah. great. Good. All right. And then I I have this question here. Um, Sorry, I'm sorry. Had another sentence that I yeah. put down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although failure to use the internet stations appropriately and responsibly may result in the revocation of the internet use privileges. That's fine too. Yeah. Pretty good. Yep. All right. All right. All right. So that's. Would you, in the case of minors, responsibility rests with their Is it enough to just say parents, or do you say parents? caregiver or legal guardian oh, like many it. times sure. people come here with a babysitter or a yeah. shirt good point yeah so yeah. they rest with their parents caregivers or caregiver you could do singular yeah you could do caregiver singular. or guardian yeah or, or legal guardian. guardian yeah there we go because it could be yeah yeah okay. that's great yeah. do, you, do you want to be a little bit more forceful around parents or patrons are encouraged to assist in maintaining a child safe library, just be a little oh. bit more forceful. Eric, I, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm not asking a bad this idea. question, but say something like, required. you know, parents or or it parents or guardians are required to uh, report incidents of um, of any inappropriate material access through library Wi-Fi. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Can well, can we require that? Yeah, yeah, no. Can we require that more strongly encouraged? Or well, we could rephrase it a little to make it more of like a responsibility. So uh, the responsibility of all patrons to assist. So and and that kind of gets it. Doesn't say you must. Yeah, that's right. Right. You shall. But it's the strong shall. Okay, so it's the responsibility of yeah. all yeah. patrons yeah. being influenced to, to assist <laughs> in maintaining a child safe library. And then carry on with those yeah. that sense. Uh, so page, uh, it's the responsibility, mm -hmm. responsibility of all patrons to assist in maintaining a child safe library yeah. that's bringing yeah. problems to the attention of the library yeah. directors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, and you can do? actually get picked out if it becomes known that she was aware of some cheating, something, anything. Really? Yeah, pretty wild. They're very strict. Wow. Well, it's like my old life, but you know, we have three core values in the Coast Guard honor, respect, and devotion duty. If you do not follow those three, you're gone. So, and those ones encompass obviously a lot. So, that's where the words shall, must, may, yeah. all those words have very specific <laughs> meaning. <laughs> they do. Anything else that anyone saw? No, I, I think those changes are really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I can revise and you know, it is just, how are we going to take care of it like or, or approve at the next meeting or how do you want to do that? I think that's what we normally do. Yeah, I think that's what we normally do. And do you yep. want uh, an additional policy for next time? Why not? Okay. Yeah. Take a look yeah, sure. see what we've got left. There's not, there's not all that much. We've done really well with that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah.
Um, yeah, all right, absolutely, that's great. Excellent. So the garage issue, I feel like we've already discussed, we probably don't need to discuss again. The rectory update, um, so we've got the roof working, which is good. At our last meeting, we had a really productive meeting last time. Yes. Um, where we came up with a, a really great list of needs, wants, requirements. And we kind of left it where we were going to try to do a feasibility study or get funding. Mm -hmm. We're working on getting some funding from the state for a feasibility study, which Andrew's kind of already discussed as well. Right. So anything I'm missing for anybody else who's on that? So I, something new, which is I, I've been, you know, Talking about this a little bit. So, like, I um, was at a workshop with Dylan, the, the um, yeah, senior yeah, yeah. And she mentioned, you know, she, she's very supportive of the library. And, like, I think she would be a great asset to oh, include in the directory working group. Okay. Um, so, I, I did walk it with her the one time. Yeah. So, I think, I mean, okay. she, she mentioned okay. that, you know, she, she's yeah. interested. So, okay. Um, and also, yeah, I think. She may have some some good, you know, good ideas. And she, you know, well, she was talking. That's okay. I'm that's like, okay. I'm like, huh? Oh, I know she's like the, um, the junior planner. Yeah, junior planner. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the other thing we had said, and I started too, and I will finish up before our next meeting, is taking a lot of those needs, wants, requirements, and building them into a project management layout. So, Dick, what are the actual tasks we have in front of us? What are the timelines we should be looking for? Um, and I built it into teams already. Um, I started populating some of the information, but I'll make sure I'll link it to there before the next meeting. Okay. So, because we did seem to kind of come away from that meeting, I'll be like, okay, what's next? Yeah. Right. So, and um, you know, a lot of good momentum already happening, so we don't want to lose that. But she certainly knows having walked the building the issues are. So. And and I think you know, she has she has ideas about like. Uh, libraries being central to community, so like and like you know, so I think I think she would be a real asset. Um, so we should invite her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can reach out. But also, I, I did also get some not from her, but like from other people some pushback about like why does the library need more space? So like anyhow, so well, like that's I'm always, like, I mean that's yeah, always I know. Right? So because... like anyhow, so like I'm like oh look at these big numbers. So like mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, I'm coming around to the idea of like you know showing up at meetings and like you know, like, <laughs> well, like I mean, I feel sort of like I, you know, I I, I know like with the senior center expansion that there's that big push and like any sort of perception of trying to interfere with that, I think would be that uh, would go, but but I do think like you know there are a lot of people in town who use the library and that's sort of like. Anyhow, so like I think there's a, there there is maybe perception for some that like it's sort of a small group of people. Like, why do they need so much? But it's not. Yeah. You know, so anyhow, that's, yeah. Yeah. It's it's not so like I I just yeah. run into that recently. So um, you're probably aware of that. <laughs> you're talking like a like a, a small group that is. Well, local? so no, I mean I think it's it's. Um, like relating to the capital planning that's mm -hmm. going on. So like, I mean, we don't have a capital planning um, committee yet. We're like, hopefully gonna get that up and running, but there's a working group and anyhow. So like, I, I mean, I do hope that when we get the um, the actual committee going again, mm -hmm. which will be probably the next fiscal year or so, uh, that I will try to you know, push with inclusion of somebody. It's <laughs> the perception that we're talking about. So yeah, is it, I mean, I think well, so the, is the, the town has, perception of the town. Or I actually don't know. Okay. Yeah. So no, I mean, I don't know exactly. And I've, I've heard that. I I had I know someone who's made comments to me. Like, I go in there, and there's no one ever there. Right. So I mean, I've heard it too. Here. Well, and I think, yeah. I, mean, I think you know part of the issue is the town has pretty substantial capital needs. Like there yes. are a lot of like funding requests. Yeah. Like there, like, and so I think I do get the sense that often people. Feel like the library, it's the lowest priority, or mm -hmm. like like way down there. Yeah, you know, going to the police station. What's that? What's yeah. That? <laughs> yeah. Going into the front room at any hour of the day, you can book days of time, and no one's ever using it. So yeah. There's plenty of space in the police station. Why don't you use that? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the feeling I have. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, but it just, you know, I just. Yeah. Anyhow, mm -hmm. it's like I, I mean, I mean as long as it's not like a, this widespread no, notion. No, I just, I just feel like you know. Well, well, these people clearly aren't coming here at right. ten o'clock on a Tuesday or whatever day she, time she no, has her right. little. So, you know, right. if you happen to speak with them again, yeah. I can tell them the exact time when she's coming. Right. Right. So yeah. So no, and, and I think you know. I get, I get it. Like in the afternoon, like sometimes one right. or two o'clock, it might be pretty quiet. You know, it happens. But you know, when you get the business. buses to start stopping here, I know. that will pick up well, those times. Well, that's on the street Start parking line. on the front Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You're going to see it. That's the other thing. Yeah, you're right. Parking on the street and a cop volunteered in direct right. traffic. And when some people park up front, I think you're going to get a lot of... Right. Does it doesn't matter what time of the year I ask them about that? Is that the kind of thing, like, if they talk about the buses stopping here? Is that they're only going to do that like in the beginning of the year, or could I do that at any time? Yeah, we were here last no, last week, so we we had we were just kind of like it would be great if the school buses could stop here. Like, sure, that's it's, an interesting idea. It's just the, as they're driving by, not even every bus, just you know, yeah. one from Misco, one, one from, from yeah. Miss well, I know I would say any bus that drives by needs yes. to stop because yes. you cannot put kids mm -hmm. on the other buses, buses right. because oh, there, of there, right. because there's not enough seats. Sure. Sure. Who was the also, any bus that drives by? This is a main conduit for all men and buses. Right, right. Every bus goes right. by right. here. Right. So, so who would like? Would you contact each individual? Or each principal from the school, or is there somebody else that would go right to the school? Right yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the only bus, the only day that would be challenging would be Thursdays. And Thursdays because you're not open until three. I know. So when I leave the high school and come by, you guys aren't open yet. And, it, and there's been two weeks in a row where I'm like, shoot, can't stop today. <laughs> so that's an interesting idea. So you could so have kids oh, get off to the library. Yeah, like, no, Does that mean good. they have supervision at the library until the parents get here or the parents meet them? Oh, well, that's so another So that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we what the, the question would be, you know what? Before I even do it, I can reach out to um, uh, Bernadette over at Bellingham because they've got the middle school right there. See, the, and the kids come Blackstone, probably come over. Blackstone, they school. walk there yeah. in Blackstone. So middle daily. school, I would say there wouldn't be an issue if right. kids were being dropped off here. Right. And I wouldn't uh, necessarily suggest the element. But middle or high school, they right. don't need someone to be home to be dropped off anyway. Right. Right. But they could come here and do homework. No, they would need a, a note. They would somehow need permission that they're being dropped off as a library. Um, you know, but no, right? I would That's assume. True. Do they? I mean, in middle I school, I would say it. yes. Yeah. Middle yeah. school, I would say yes. They would need parent permission that they are being dropped off at the library. High school is a different story, but um, I would. This would be a movement. I don't. I don't know. I, I. I. Middle school needs parent permission for everything. I know they still do, but they don't need a parent home to get dropped off. Correct. But we, but the school is responsible for that child getting home. So if that child was okay, so just set up going to the library to today, yeah, they would need. Okay. Well, there's also there's also a it's a transfer of custody. Of right. Them. So so it's not only where they get dropped off, it's also who is taking responsibility at that at that point. But there doesn't need to be anybody home, so nobody is no, no, necessarily. No, no, that's a different situation. But that's still the parent's responsibility. That's, okay. That's within, okay. Right. So it comes to okay. I get it. Yeah, so you have everyone so, from any yeah. walk of life who's not poor eject here. Mm -hmm. Even right. the school has a responsibility that's that's right. that they'll kind of consider. Yep, that's okay. right. right. Even if you even if you have like like sports teams and town mm -hmm. town sports teams, all of them have to get Corey checked to make sure that they have they mm -hmm. can maintain custody of them on their age. Right. Going through that. That's why you can't grab pressure. kids from a track meet and drive them home. Yeah. You yeah. Right. have to. Yeah. Right. It's the same kind of principle. So there's probably some considerations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not insurmountable. Mm -hmm. They're just right, right. considerations that have to be. Right. Well, Maureen was with another school district before this, right? So I mean, she probably is a coward. I don't, I don't know if she countered something like this before. Maybe. So I don't know. I'm just I don't I'm know. wondering, like, if there's, like you said, maybe it's a matter of just permission slips in which case. As long as those are submitted to us. It may be that permission slips. Okay. 
Okay. That's a good, that's a really good question. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. And again, are you prepared for I phone know. calls from parents and it's no, I've heard, or you know, well, that's the other, yeah, 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 that's, that's the other, you know, you don't want to be you know, when it's overextending it's yourself. Or just, or you know, like, or yeah. that's right, that's right. That's or right. suddenly the kids aren't really in the library, they're hanging out out back. Right. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Places all around. Yeah. 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 Really good place to smoke. We are aging myself. <laughs> 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 at our high school, not at our middle school. All right. Um, is that off everything from yeah. the rectory? Absolutely. So, strategic plan. All right. So, I actually went through the whole <laughs> checklist because every time we get the strategic plan, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I guess this is <laughs> So, I checked it. <clears throat> and um, what I can tell you is, um, so there's timelines for everything, and then it's broken out, and building utilization and access, like literally the first four or five of these, the Rectory Working Group is already working dealing on. with. Review indoor and outdoor spaces, determine what actions may be taken in the industry building to, to address findings, review the TAF old Rectory Feasibility Study, mm -hmm. check the TAF, mm -hmm. create a plan that integrates defined Based needs with options cited in the TAF other by Rectory Records Feasibility Study if we were to use it. Thank Otherwise, you. we're looking at other options. Mm -hmm. Select an option for either the TAF uh, study or new findings. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There you go. So, right there. Uh, design and implement a strategy to act on the plan, including funding. These are all things that we will I'm hopefully get to at some point. Mm -hmm. um, higher ground maintenance company. It's kind of interesting, but um, obviously, right now, what we are You're doing. using something alternative. Okay, we're doing alternative, alternative plan. Yeah, Mom yeah. is doing it along with um, uh, Katrina's daughter, so I'm sending clubs out. I did, somebody knocked on the door today and asked about if anybody is doing landscaping here. And I said, no. Um, and he uh, owns a company and he said, do you mind if I take some photos and give you a quote? And I said, that's fine. I told him what. You know what? You know, don't worry about the lawn because the lawn. I mean, I personally would rather people do the lawn because sometimes the lawn gets a little crazy in the summertime. Um, and if you, if somebody was more regular about it, it, would be good on occasion. But that said, I told them where the landscape areas are, and you know the, the weeding that needs to be done, and the the window wells that need to be dig, all that stuff. So he was going to take some photos and get back to me. So um, it would depend on what he. Right. You know, comes back for us. Um, but I think we have a solution if, even if nothing like that ever came to fruition. So, uh, clean, let's see, higher window washers. <laughs> That's mine. Okay. So, I do have asterisks next to the things that I have not accomplished yet. And yeah. it's a, this is a matter of just me getting on the telephone and contacting a window washer. It's so stupid. Are you just looking at ones right now for this year? Or? Well, actually, that would have been FY23. So, they, you know, but you've been course. trying, it's not like yeah. you haven't made that. Attempt, All right, so. so uh, check roof and awnings for me because I actually, once Copeland does this over here, I'm going to ask him about these other mm -hmm. fixed areas that we had superior, superior work on. So, part of that had been done at one time or another, yeah. uh, but there are a couple things that need to be taken into account. Um, the door counters, um, I have actually gone with hand counting recently, um, in the last uh, every other month. But the only reason I've been doing that is um, because there is a directional and reference question that we need to mark off when people ask us directional questions, when they ask us reference questions, all the things that go into the error support. So because it's all part and parcel of the you know checking attendance and checking who comes in, um, I've been wanting to get more statistical information, not less, so that the errors report looks more robust. looks closer to what I think it should be just in terms of yeah, people asking questions and then also who's come in. But I think we will look into a door counter. I haven't found anything yet that I really love, but um we've had two different kinds, both of them have at some point just gone perfectly. Um so we'll have to look into another one. Um Denco, we used to go get them through Denco. I don't even know if they offer them anymore. So anyway, let's move on. 
Uh, work with the agencies to develop bus and van stops at the library. So that's another thing. Mm -hmm. um, hours issues, all of these things are at this point in terms of hours, increasing hours and then increasing open hours at the library have everything to do with the budget request and seeing where we can get with that. Um, so all of those are being done too. Uh, policy review is ongoing. All of these three yeah. here are about policies, so that's good. Uh, ascertain staff needed to cover optimal open hours. This is all to me wraps back into this staffing. Uh, assessment of staff hours and schedules. Um, additional staff funding ties into hours, yes. So um, organizational chart, I have worked on it. That's, yeah. Cool. Um, We've done one of the job descriptions. We have two to go. Um, I don't think the, the, the director's description, unless you have other things you want me to do, <laughs> uh, is what would be, you know, would have, I don't think there'd be a lot that have to be altered on that. The question will be the children's position and what exactly that is going to be going forward. And Did part we of this look at that? Yeah, and, and I know we talked about well, what about the programming piece, and what about, you know what I mean? So I think there's some tinkering and tweaking we're going to have to do on that. Um, the directors, I could probably just maybe even bring in this next time. Mm -hmm. We can start to look at that. And then the children's, we can look into as well. But like I said, that'll take a little bit more. Um, evaluate and redesign website. Find some. Mm -hmm. some Headway there. Uh, app, I did ask her about whether or not we can make this um, uh, device friendly, you know, phone friendly. Um, and so they would take a look at, yes, James. Yeah. It, it, adapt, <laughs> it should adapt. It should adapt it should. automatically. The current platform does. Do that. Yes. yes. Ours is yes. like right now. It's it a, doesn't it's because it's too, too old. Yeah, yeah, it's too old. But any um, new platform does that automatically, and if it doesn't, you shouldn't be using it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. They shouldn't be using right. it. Right. Yeah. Well, this is where we're at. Yeah. So we don't don't worry. We'll do good QC with that. Good quality control. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, surveys. We haven't really surveyed program attendees um, about how they learn about the program, but I think that would be a good thing for us to do. Um, say, because you know, have this large groups of individuals coming in, it'd be nice to know what they're hearing from. Honestly, mm -hmm. on Wednesday, there were five families I had never seen them before. Awesome. Nice. That is awesome. Parents and child or children mm -hmm. that I had never seen before. Um, outreach methods not being used and add them. Uh, staff and I are going to work on that. Um, as I mentioned, uh, homebound, we have started to discuss. I love the idea. I can't go into it yet until I know that Monica's on board, uh, which I think she is. It's just we have to figure out like how we want to do it. Right. But I think we're going to, with particulars of that, we're going to. Oh, um, I also should mention our next staff meeting. We used to do them on quarterly and kind of do them every other month now. So that would be actually at Barnes and Bill because we can do a little chat. Yeah, it's kind of a nice. Um, one question on the homebound thing. Yes. I'm going to, would she get like a stipend or a mileage? No, nope, I haven't dropped no. okay. that. Isn't the electric car at the at the Ooh, town hall? Well, isn't that too. available? So why couldn't we use that? You uh, can take Monica, that out of it. Monica has a special uh, board of transport she would like to use. Oh boy! Oh boy! Yes. Horse okay. and buggy does not. No. Help. <laughs> no, she has like a vest. Oh, okay. And the heart thing for the back. I'm like, she's totally on board with this. It was running through my mind as like a rickshaw. What about Andrew? We there? Like, <laughs> I, I was thinking that too. I know. I know. Or whatever. Well, the question is, like, when do you want to do this? Because, like, right. there is there and, are seasons. But the, but the winner, uh, yeah. But I, the, I think the town hall car might be another option. Yeah, if, if, if in the winter time, right. you want to switch that, to that. Oh my God. That's town cost. Well, it depends on how many home hours we have and what we would need to bring to each other. Are there out and all of that? But I think we could do it cost effectively if we could use the town. I think that's supposed to be available. Anybody can sign it out town wise. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, especially. 
Um, but if she is using her own vehicle, she needs to be reimbursed, reimbursed for yeah. whether, I don't know how the town like, does it, whether it's mileage be, or... There could be a liability issue with that. Yeah. There could be, right. Uh, I mean, I know for a fact right. that there are communities that actually use a bike and a shelf unit of books yeah. that they go from. That's awesome. I don't know if it was, to be honest with you. I think it was more country. Oh, really? Yeah. But anyway. Um, so time time episode where they're running. Yes. <laughs> that was what was going through. Well, I'm not going to get on the bus. <laughs> no. um, strength and social media use. Uh, Tara and I, we, we have a lot of avenues right now for promotion. Um, I did talk at one point with the principal at that month about DECA, having DECA students do publicity. Uh, because they have, don't they have a newspaper or something? Or something? There's some sort of thing that they've got, like mm -hmm. a notice board or something. Like uh, there is a notice uh, board there. I don't remember. But in any event, um, something that they would do. Uh, continue to work with the schools, continue to work with the senior center and parks department. Um, doing some of that in the summertime already, uh, but could do more. Well, we talked today about senior, yeah. doing more with the senior yeah. center. So do more. Done. Check. Yep. <laughs> we're working um, on it. Programming, uh, evaluate current offerings to determine gaps. I'm going to talk more with the staff about that this next time. I think we've done pretty well in identifying some things that we didn't have before with the language program and the, um, the uh, handcrafting group. So mm -hmm. this is good. And some of those things that doesn't do. Handcrafting people should do something. Somebody brings in like cookies and, <laughs> and then they talk for the next two hours. It's a great thing. Um, let's see, sponsorships and other funding sources. We haven't really looked into that too much because our budget is pretty decent in terms of the program. It's not that we could do something. Collections that's ongoing, inventory portion of the collection each year. We're doing it like not stop. It's every day, meeting, evaluating, and so forth. Um, Assess the diversity of the collection. Some of those things don't come until about 25. I would say our collection is as diverse as anybody else, is just in terms of where, what we we're picking up and getting. Um, uh, unfortunately, people aren't necessarily checking out diverse materials here, which I it's just me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But, but to, be, to be fair, like there are things that I wish would. Mm -hmm. Go out more. So, sorry, this no, is a little right. tangent, but do you know, like, um, Bryant has this read harder challenge? Like, mm -hmm. um, but I wonder about something like, I don't know, like a a challenge of reading more diverse books. Like, you get categories of, mm -hmm. of books. Yeah. Like, I enjoy that, like, as an organizing principle, like, to help me decide mm -hmm. what to read next. But yeah. it's like, say, like, you know, I don't know, like a, like a bingo. Like, you, it's like, okay, sure. read, you know, yeah. read a book. By uh, you know, science fiction book by a woman of color or something sure, like sure. like just you know yes. categories like that. What's that? The woman of color. I'm thinking about the science fiction. Oh, Octavia Butler. Yes. I'm sorry, I just started. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a point. But actually, something like I was wondering about, like you know, yeah. getting like bingo. That's a kind of cool like, idea. Like just you know, like you you well, so I know there's a there's a story. Uh, Texas that I follow. Do you know that the blog is like Jenny Lawson? She's an author. Oh, I know, I know yeah. the author. So yeah. yeah, she she has a she has a bookstore and they they put out like a bingo sort of similar idea like about like categories of things to read. And I just I it could be a nice way to really like push the, the mm -hmm. yeah that's a great process. idea. Okay, that's a really good idea. Um, yeah, you know that. no, that's awesome. That's I mean, that could be you could incorporate that into summer reading, you could, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and make it yeah. or, I mean, I, there are some uh libraries now that are like, well, why are we just doing this in summer? Like, right, we could do uh, a couple month program that's just like, here's let's do you know, uh, readers bingo or whatever it's called, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and then, yeah. And I hope Dale's doing something new, like a book challenge, like for kids, 
can't remember what it was like to read 150 books, I guess, or something along those lines, and you get things along the way. And I don't remember exactly how that came to be, but in any event, they're going that way now. So, um, uh, what else? Let's see, collections technology, a couple things I've started here because we need to do hardware inventory, capital equipment. Nice. This is really it. Uh, basically, it's just developing checklists of uh, inventory hardware uh, and what kind of equipment we should be getting. That we so, well, that's, I mean, the, uh, there's a large portion of the things that are listed on here that we're already engaged in or completed. Yeah. So, I mean, I, yeah, it's, I know I've looked at it, but was there anything about it, like clean energy stuff? I know we talked about like um, the solar panel issues. No, but I still love about. the idea. Because so, so I know there's <laughs> a new like federal um, incentive yeah. for, that municipalities can have. So, you know, with like if you get solar panels as a private individual, you get a tax credit, but like, you know, sure. municipalities don't pay the you right, know, state. Right. Federal taxes. So, but now there's a, uh, a, I can't remember what they call it, but it's basically the equivalent of the tax credit. So, like the the sort of the thirty percent okay. um, that munis munis municipalities can qualify for. Mm -hmm. So, like that is, I mean, potentially a big yeah. chunk. Like it's not a grant, but like I don't know. Like I, every once in a while, I ask Anne about this, and like. Um, I don't know, there's also the solarized program. We there was supposed to be some sort of solar benefit that would go to a nonprofit and then interrupt in. But the key thing is with the joint thing, it's like okay, well, and then for Upton, like which uh, is it? And then we tried to look into getting it for the school district because it benefits both towns, but that kind of like it hit a dead end because I guess this the school already does a lot of solar We're like, like almost. Almost ninety-eight percent is covered by the solar panel. Yeah. So so, so anyhow, so like I, you know, just mm -hmm. trying to find out like could the library get it? I mean, well, even this, it's this like, interesting because if you got if you got Tesla parking mm -hmm. in front of recharging stations, mm -hmm. I was like going, the solar panels are gonna cover that. Mm -hmm. It's like I think it's like fifty kilowatt hour per car. So that's a lot of power. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that would be covered by solar panels. Yeah. yeah, it's worthwhile checking out. Right, I mean, and, and like the, the roof is, oh, it has good, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's an I, interesting thing. I like, I keep, I'll keep, you know, periodically asking Anne about that, but like, I mean, it would be like a capital project. Sure, so, sure. But, but I mean, it would like the savings, I mean, yeah, when you talk yeah, about your $2,000 uh, yeah. electric bill, yeah. I mean, that would be. It's mm -hmm. going to oh, it's going to reduce a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to say, yeah. Also, the steepness of the roof is really good in the winter. <laughs> because yeah. I know, like, we have solar panels and they're on our barn and it's not very steep. So, like, when it snows, we like we lose oh. we lose it for a couple of days. You okay. know, like, yeah. but like with the steep, roof, yeah. we would probably. I get we I I know we talked about this. I don't know a while back. Yeah. yeah. I'd be all for that. And this roof is from. Is it new with this? The 2016. Yes. So, yeah. so that's good. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. This one, this yeah. Yeah, I mean, if she, I don't know what we would need to do on our end, but it certainly would be. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep asking. Um, yeah, but I know that. I mean, there's right. So there's like two two different avenues that I can see. One is like because we we had this agreement with the Solarize program that like if we got a certain amount of I don't know, like households participating, that we would get this benefit, but we mm -hmm. haven't been able to use the benefit. So, like, and then I don't know, like, is there some way that, like, if we got it to the Mendon Library, that we could, like, like, you know, share, like, profit share or something oh. with the Upton Library? Like, I mean, so, like, anyhow, but mm -hmm. um, I'll keep asking about that. Be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You'd be on board. Certainly. Yeah. All right. Anything we need to talk about that we didn't anticipate on my agenda? That 
You want to hold off. Uh oh, Jinx has something. Oh, you want to hold off on the um, children's librarian union issue, whatever uh, that is, or do you want to discuss that tonight? Doesn't matter. Is that, is that, it doesn't need to be executive section or. Well, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's it, another, it, that's a good maybe thing. we should have it put it for executive session next week. Next yeah, meeting. Okay, that's what's good. Okay. And I, as I said, I don't know how it's going to pan out. I mean, right. Maybe that's fine. We might have more information by then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, James. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's fine. Uh, Your turn. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what? Because I mean, honestly, we, you and I can chat about this later. So, exactly. but at least for the, the trustees, uh, public safety questions that run through my brain is, you know, when was the last time we've conducted a live fire drill here? When was the last time we've actually had no, it? Never. Never. Or have we ever had the conversation about allowing the police come in and doing an active shooter drill in here? Like I, having those conversations. All of these like, things I've asked. Yeah. One time, yeah, that, that kind of stuff really we definitely got involved. Yeah, yeah. never really cool. Changed. Well, it's yeah. going to happen now okay. because yeah. I, I have a part time job for the town now. Okay. I'm helping run public safety through emergency. Nice. Right. So, yeah. whenever you would like to have yeah. those things occur, one, we can get the chiefs in here, we can sit yeah. down and talk with them and build out a plan. Um, okay. I'm doing the same thing with Dr. Cohen to expand what we did this past. Uh, Good. So that we can walk through those things. So, so it was fire, uh, yeah. fire, and fire, police, EMS, any any type of drill or exercise you want to run, we want to figure out how to do it. Well, if you want CPR training, we can work on that too. Okay, good. That doesn't come necessarily free, but no, training. I mean, that's okay. I mean, that's, that's all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Good. We um, I do have an um uh, somebody that I've been in touch with about an RGM training. Good. Um, the only issue was trying to get everybody at a particular time, and then she couldn't. I wanted to do it for uh, in conjunction with one of the staff meetings. Sure. But she couldn't be. She wasn't available on Tuesday nights at that. Okay. So which is. I've got a couple more folks that we can call. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Next, great. next meeting. Yeah. I'm hungry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm totally it sure. is late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless somebody else has something nope. else. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. So dare say anything else? I know, right? <laughs> Don't do it. I'm angry. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. um, oh, by the way, the rectory meeting is in two weeks. I have another mm -hmm. meeting at six thirty. So, like, okay, I'll just be early. Are you thinking? Oh, we're doing that. Oh, it was the twenty second. I'll make sure it next week. It was almost not here too. I was okay. supposed to travel. But um, so the next second Tuesday of, of March, which is when we normally second Thursday of March is the 14th, which if it works for you all, that's great. I may not be here. That is my daughter's okay. birthday and I will not. Your, your daughter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, like yeah, I see that every year on Facebook, yeah. and I, 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 I like it. I laugh. No, I don't. I didn't mean that. I like it. You gotta make I, cake. I, I, yeah, I, I gotta know. make cake. Unfortunately, it's totally fine. Sometimes she makes her own cake. Okay. Yes. <laughs> she likes to make cake. She made one today. I'm going home to have that. So <laughs> my dinner. <laughs> my baby. Um, um. So we could do the 14th. That would be that would be the second Tuesday of March. Do you want to bump it? On uh, Thursday, I'm going to say Tuesday. It's Thursday. We could do the seventh too. Um, doesn't matter to me. Like I said, the 14th, I won't be here. But um, uh, I could do either one of those days, um, or I could do the 21st too. Yeah, time. I guess that's an option too. 21st, we have a um, kind of present uh, program at seven, but yeah, it depends on how you know people. <laughs> we could try it. Grab it <laughs> from six to seven. Try that Yeah. Why don't we go to the seventh then? Why don't we just bump a little early? We'll do the first Thursday, if that's okay with the schedules. Works. So I will put it on the calendar. Let's see. Make sure do it right now.
Allison, is there anything from your seat that you want to add or anything we can do for you? Yeah. No, I think I'm all set, but thank you. And I'm good for the seventh as well. So let's right. make it the seventh. Right. Thank you. Right. So I have one other thing I want to share, and it doesn't have to be during the meeting, but it's just about this housing workshop. I'm just trying to talk it up. I don't know if any of you saw on Facebook, but it's like a, a for Menden's housing production plan. It doesn't directly impact the library, but it affects the basically the future of the town. So um, it's uh, March fourth, uh, Monday, March fourth at uh, ten a.m. The senior center is the second workshop. So just, fun. just wanted to spread the word about that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. If there's no other business. Second. All there. Hi. 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 Hi.